Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have such an exciting video and today I'll be showing you guys how to spice up your planner by um, making your own DIY dividers, um, dashboards, pen loops, just pretty much anything just, just to um, kind of personalize your planner. And I just loved how it turned out. I just think it's such a cute and inexpensive way to kind of change up your planner without having to buy a whole bunch of different accessories. But yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy this video and let's get right into it. So this is the planner that I'll be using for this DIY. It is just a three ring binder from Target and you can do these DIYs for any planner that you have like an Erin Condren, Happy Planner, Kiki K or whatever. You just want to make sure that you have the correct hole punch so that the inserts that you do make do fit into your planner. And so this planner did come with these inserts and dividers already so I decided to take one of these dividers and use it as a template. If you guys don't have a template you can definitely just measure it out or just eyeball it. Um, but since I already do have a template, that just makes my life way easier. So I'm going to be using these Bambi sheets that I got from Hobby Lobby to make my dividers and dashboards and whatnot. They're just so pretty and I love the designs. So first off, we're going to make our DIY, I call it the front page or the cover. It's just a decorative page to look at right when you open your planner. And it's so simple, all you want to do is take your template and put it over the sheet. You just want to trace it or measure it however you're using it and then just go ahead and cut it. Um, again, this is going to be different for each planner that you make it for. Once that's done, you want to put your template on top so that you know where to punch the holes and then simply just punch the hole so that you can put it back into your planner. And then once that's done, you can pretty much just decorate it however you want to. I just decided to put a really cute um, journal card over it and then tape that down with some gold foil washi tape. And so yeah, pretty much done. You just decorate however you want to. Next, we're gonna move on to DIY dashboard. This is pretty much the same thing, um, but then you can just um, stick on some, what is it, page flags, sticky notes, or whatever that you wanna put on your dashboard. I just decided to put my target page flags and then some other um, sticky notes on them. So that's pretty much it for the dashboard. Next, our DIY dividers. This is really simple too. All you want to do is take your template and put it right on the card slot paper and trace that. Um, it, again, if you don't have the template, you just want to make sure that you leave a tab on the side while you're cutting so that you can use these as dividers. So once you're done with the tracing, just go ahead and cut that out. And yeah, you can make as many dividers as you want. Again, don't forget to punch the hole so that you can put it back into your planner and you're pretty much done. I'll be showing you guys how to make your own overlay. These aren't very common, but I still wanted to show you guys. You can take any pattern transparent paper. You can get these from any craft store. And it's very simple. You just want to go ahead and take your template, trace, cut, and punch hole again. And these are great to put over on top of your page covers or any nice pattern paper. And they just add a nice texture to it. Next is the DIY pocket folder and what I did was um, I took the template and I just unfolded it and just traced that. But again, if you don't have a template, what you pretty much want to do is have a whole sheet plus a half of a sheet but connect it. And then you can have a little tab at the bottom here as you can see so that you can fold that and glue that. So again, just measure it out if you don't have a template. So this is what it looks like once it's traced and cut. I'm going to go ahead and just start folding it. And then there's this little tab at the bottom here where you want to fold and then you can put some tape or just glue. So I just decided to use a glue stick and just um, put some glue on there and then we're just going to press firmly so that you can make the pocket here. Next, this is what it should look like in the front and the back. And then on the side where it has the opening here, that's where you want to punch the holes. So I'm going to use my template, put that on top and then just simply punch the holes here. Next is a DIY bookmark. I really loved how this turned out. All you want to do is take a longer sheet of stock paper, depending on how long your pages are. I'm just going to go ahead and take my template and make sure to measure how um, tall my inserts are usually. I'm just going to mark that off and then once that's marked off, I'm going to work um, where that line is and just draw on a little tab. That's where the bookmark is going to be. Um, I just eyeball this so it doesn't have to be perfect. Once that's done, you just want to cut it out and this is what what it should look like. 
Um, so I'm going to go ahead and measure off where I want to punch the hole. You want to make sure to leave a little bit of room on the left side so that um, you don't hole punch in the center of your bookmark if that makes sense. So I'm just going to mark off where I'm going to cut and then go ahead and just cut on that line. So this is what my bookmark looks like. I decided to trim off the edges just a little bit and then you can go ahead and write whatever you want to at the top here. Moving on to the DIY zipper pouch, I just got this pouch from Walmart for 50 cents and it just has a zipper here on the right side and it's just super um, simple and in inexpensive. So what you want to do is just of course take out that little sheet there and you want to make sure that um, you know which side the zipper is on. You want to go ahead and put your template and make sure that's on the side of where the zipper is. You want to go ahead and trace out your template and then cut that out. I just used my cutter but it wasn't able to cut through the zipper portion so I just used scissors for that. And so this is what it should look like. Um, as you can see there's openings at the bottom of the side so I'm just going to go ahead and take some tape and put that on the longer side and then just fold that over. Um, you can tape as many times as you want. I just did it once. And then of course you just want to trim off the excess tape as well. And then looking at the zipper here and the side, there's still that opening there. So to secure it, this part is optional, but I'm going to put some hot glue gun and just make sure that it's glued and not um, like open because we're going to tape it, but I just wanted to make sure it's secured. So I'm putting a little bit of hot glue there and just pressing firmly. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and put tape on that side now to close it. And then just to kind of spice it up a little bit and cover, cover up the tape, I'm going to put some washi tape here on the edges here just to cover the tape a little bit and just add a little bit of design to there. So this part is super optional. Once that's done, you, of course, you just want to go ahead and punch the holes and then you're pretty much done. Next is the clear pocket DIY and this is pretty much the same thing but a little bit easier. You just want to take some um, like screen protector or paper protector, I don't know what they call it but again you just want to do pretty much the same thing. You want to trace your template on the edge of where the pocket is and not the other side of the hole punched side. So again just go ahead and cut that and then we're just going to tape the sides that are open but of course you want to leave the top open so you can um, insert things into there so yeah I'm just gonna tape um, two of the open sides and then uh, lastly just put washi tape on one of the side where I'm going to be hole punching and then um, once that's done of course you want to go ahead and hole punch so that you can insert that back into your planner Next is the DIY envelope insert and this is not even really a DIY because it's so easy. You just want to take an envelope, this actually fit my planner perfectly and then take your template and just hole punch um, the opposite side of where the opening is and then you have your DIY envelope insert. Next, taking these decorative elastics, I got mine from Hobby Lobby. They have a variety of different designs. We're going to do our DIY elastic band and this is great just to keep your planner closed and keep everything together. You just want to take your elastic and measure out how much um, elastic you're going to need. You want to make sure that you don't use too much fabric like I did. Um, when you tug at the top, as you can see here, there was a little bit too much elastic so my elastic kept falling off. So want to make sure that you have the correct amount. Once you measure how much you need, you're just going to go ahead and tie a knot um, at the top where it's not connected. So it's so simple, you just want to kind of loop it around and tie a knot. And then once you have that, then you're pretty much done with your elastic band. It's so easy and so simple. Alright, lastly is a DIY pen or pencil loop. I found this DIY to be super handy. You just want to take a small strip of elastic. This is about an inch and a half. You want to take your hot glue gun and just dab a small amount on one end of the elastic. And then you want to go ahead and take the other end and just fold that in half. You want to go ahead and pinch the end here and then just take off any excess glue that may squeeze out. Um, one thing to remember is not to distribute the um, glue throughout the whole elastic because you want to leave an opening here like that. And then just let that dry and you're pretty much done. Hey 
guys, so this is the fun part where you get to put everything together, all of your hard work. I'm going to go ahead and open up my D-ring binder and just start inserting um, all the things I made. So these are some dividers that already came with the planner. I'm just going to go ahead and insert that into my planner along with some other pages that also came with the planner. Next, I'm going to go ahead and insert my DIY divider that I made here. Um, along with that, we're going to insert more of the dividers and pages that came with the planner. Next, I'm inserting my DIY bookmark. I think it's so cute and loved how this turned out. It's probably one of my favorites. Um, next, we're going to go ahead and insert more pages and another DIY divider here. After that, we're going to go ahead and insert our DIY um, pocket here. And this is just one of the pockets that I showed you guys. I'm going to go ahead and put in some alphabet stickers and just insert that from the top. And I just love how you can see all the detail and just love the bright color from the stickers. Next, after that, we're going to go ahead and insert our DIY pocket um, folder here. I just love the design of it. After that, I'm just going to put some um, journal cards into the pocket. You can use whatever you want. Next, we're going to go ahead and insert um, our DIY envelope. Again, it just fit my planner perfectly. After that, I'm going to go ahead and insert my DIY dashboard. I just love the look of my sticky notes and they're easily um, accessible. Next is the DIY um, zipper pocket here. I really like how secure the pocket is. I'm going to go ahead and insert my Etsy stickers here. Um, I, again, I just love the pop of color there. After that, we're going to go ahead and insert our DIY like page cover. Again, I just love this page because it's the first thing you see when you open your planner. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and put over on the overlay, which just adds a nice texture to the cover. Next, we're just going to go ahead and attach our DIY pen or pencil loop. I just used double-sided tape to tape it down, but you can definitely use um, a hot glue gun or super glue or whatever that you'd like. After that's taped or glued down, you can go ahead and insert your pen or pencil. This is super convenient so that you always have it handy with you when you have your planner. Lastly, we're going to go ahead and just close our planner and um, all of our hard work. We're going to go ahead and use our elastic loop here and just loop that around the planner just to make sure that everything is secured. Alright guys, so that's it for my video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. I had so much fun making it and I hope you guys enjoy making your own DIY planner accessories. If you guys like this video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it and thank you guys for watching. Bye!